Hey YouTube and RC groups, what is up? <clears throat> this is Sean Stupid Monkey. Well, took my plane out today and I tore it up a little bit. Uh, nothing major. I've got a little bit of uh, repair to do, but you know, oh well, you fly in the wind and this is what you get. I had crosswinds of five to eight miles an hour today, so here's the outcome. First thing that happened was this right here. Got took the tip into the into the ground. My son was shooting a video of uh, my flight today, so you guys won't see it actually crash. You guys see the end, the, the the back part of it, back part of the crash anyway. So, eh, dirtied up the wingtip a little bit. No big deal. What is a big deal and kind of sucks is that right there broken prop. Snapped the prop. Took the tip off the prop. Wore that prop down some. Or that blade down some. And my landing gear. It's crooked. It was laying there off to the side. So I figure while I'm making this movie right here with all the videos that were shot today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my aileron service. And kind of figured I'd bring you guys along on this trip. See what happens. See how well this works. So I'm going to get my one of my sons in here and have them take over the camera. And uh, we'll get this started. We'll get this show running. All right. Yeah, that sucks. That was straight when I left this house this morning. Oh well. Alright, well first things first, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the prop. Um, as you saw earlier, it was bent, or not bent, broke, wore down. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that, push it out of the way. It just doesn't need to be here anymore. It's disturbing, it broke it. No, there's no way I'm going to be able to fix that. That's just, it's horrible. It sucks. I wonder how far out of balance this is. No, see, you can't balance it on this. You can't balance it on the screwdriver. Oh, well, it's, it's junk. So anyway, we got rid of that. Uh, next step, you know, rip the wings off. Uh, four screws, really easy to do. Out. Keep track of them, they're easy to lose. Kind of small. Um, I happen to have extras because of the, I've already replaced the other two servos inside the plane. Um, I wasn't going to replace my aileron servos, but they're acting funny on flight. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it done. They keep on, they don't seem to want to stay uh, to stay where I want to stay. Keep on trying to move. So, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Fix it. Get rid of the cheap plastic ones, put no gears in there. And it's just another upgrade that goes to the plane. So, we're pulling. But yeah, you get these four screws out. Some of you guys may take all six screws, you know, whatever. Um, the only reason why I take just the four so I don't have to, you know, just quicker, less time. So, I guess I'm going to to remove the wings. Reach in here, disconnect the wire harness. And we're actually going to pull the wire harness out of the plane right now as well. So we've got the Y harness here, and what's actually going to happen, you'll see in a minute, is this Y harness is actually going to go into the wing, uh, plugged into the servo leads, and then as the wing comes in, we're going to plug it into the, uh, as we reinstall the wing, we're going to plug it back into the receiver. So, we're going to do 
the wire harness out. The wings are the wing is off. I may end up gluing all this to the wing together. Um, I was watching a video of a guy that uh, was building a. Actually, I was watching X Jets build on the AXN floater, uh, and he just came up. He gave me a couple really good ideas on on uh, the AXN floater wings that I'm going to steal from him and put them and use on this one. So, now that we got that, we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the disconnect the ailerons. Get everything all off. We're going to take the push rods and remove them. Set them off to the side. Do it to both wings really quick so that they're both done. Just kind of help move right on along on the same. You know, these 9 gram servos, somebody had mentioned that one of the gears is plastic in them. I was going to tear into it and have a look to see, but uh, you know, it really, uh, as, as, as hard as I hit this nose gear today uh, on landing, uh, you know, I had a, a 5 to 8 mile an hour crosswind. So when I came in for landing, I came in a little bit hot, thinking that speed was going to be my friend, and it wasn't. But you know, I, I hit this gear, I hit this this nose gear pretty hard. Um, I don't know if in my videos when I upload them, if they are going to, uh, if we got any shots of the of the landings. But yeah, I, I hit pretty hard. It didn't do anything to the gears. And these servos, for some reason, they lose center. So. Bag of tricks. Let's go ahead and just pull these screws out. Oh, wife's throwing her phone on the ground. Oh, she broke it too. So anyway, pop these things out. Bouncing around, you're starting to irritate me. So, anyway, yeah, we got to pop these servos out. Um, I may end up cutting this, this out of here. It looks like they glued it pretty good. So, I don't know what I'm going to do here. We, I may end up tearing these servos apart and soldering these extension leads onto the, the Metal Gear servos. Because look how long they are. What I'm thinking is I can run my Y lead up inside here with metal gears in the back here. So, what I'm hoping anyway, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but if I set the servo in like so, and this goes in like so, my lead is going to be. have to solder these things. So anyway, um, you got that wing. I'll get back to you guys in just a minute with um, soldering servo or removing removing the wires out of the stock servo and putting them on the metal gear servo. Trying to figure out how I can do this without somebody else holding the camera. Uh, can you can you see can you see what I'm doing over there? So anyway, you're gonna take a small screwdriver and you're gonna remove all 
four of these screws on the bottom of your servo. Um, the one I'm taking apart first is the plastic gear, uh, the fat, the servo that came with the plane. We're just gonna we're gonna get this out of here. We're gonna tear this apart and get these wires. I probably could cut these wires. In fact, I might go ahead and do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to go ahead and we'll pull this apart. We'll decide if we're going to cut the wires off for the next wing. So anyway, as you can see, we, these four screws are fairly easy to get out. Pull it down. These airfield, I don't know why they don't work well. Uh, the, the, you know, it, I don't know. I, I probably just the fact that they're cheap servos, I guess, that's what causes them to, to just be junk. You know, I assume. So anyway, we got the bottom plate off the, off of the servo housing, and as you can see, there's your three wires. Right there on this board, right? So we're gonna go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna heat that up a little bit and pull each one of them wires off of there, and then we'll move them over to the new Metal Gear servo. We'll be right back. So what you're gonna need in order to you know switch over these leads. Uh, to bust the solder and all that, you need a solder gun. I've only got a 40 watt. Um, I recommend a 60 watt or higher. Uh, they just get hotter. Um, they, they, they stay hotter. Um, I use a sponge to keep my tip clean. Uh, just moistened up and it's got the green side on the back so I can do a little bit of rubbing on it if I have to. And uh, so anyway, that's just, I mean, that's all you need. To, to switch this over. A little bit of solder so you can tin the tip. Um, you know, that just helps everything work better. So let's go ahead and uh, move on. Okay, just for comparison, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the Metal Gear servo apart and have a gander at how its wires are set up. Um, The same as before. You know, remove these four screws and uh, you know pull the pull the base plate off of it. The screwdriver had to go into the screw. The screw. All right. <coughs> Cat's claw on the leather couch. Cat's claw on the couch. Dog eats the couch. Yeah, my dog ate my couch. Well, actually, it's a love share of the couch, but whatever. Puppies are puppies. They don't really think about what's going to happen if they eat stuff, I guess. Yeah. up out of the way. Remember which way this cover goes on here. Um, not positive. Yeah, well, you can't really put it on wrong anyway. Kind of, kind of stuck with the way it, it goes. It's got a little spot to let the wires out. If that's not lined up, then it won't go on. I guess it would. You just have to force it and cause problems. So let's go ahead and got these four screws. This one right here doesn't seem to want to come out for some reason. It's kind of bent, that's why. 
Japanese pre-bent screws, Chinese pre-bent screws, straight from the factory. So, anyway, pull the back cover off of this. Here. Right, so this is the one for Metal Gear, and this is for the Plastic Gear. And there's a pretty big difference in the boards, no? No, the boards look pretty much the same. See? So, now we know that the wires are exactly the same, so we need to remember that brown, orange, and yellow is how it goes if it's sitting on the table just like this. So, um, this one here, the one here is more Metal Gear, see? And here's the plastic gear, the one that came with the airfield. Um, I don't like them, they don't center up right. Uh, I've had problems with them um, centering a couple times. So I'm just not going to deal with them anymore. I'm done. But since we've got that little back panel off the Metal Gear servo, let's see what kind of gears we got in here. If there's any plastic ones in here at all. And no. There are no plastic gears in here. Not a single plastic gear. They're all metal. So... For my buddy that was asking, you know, what's the point of putting Metal Gear servos in the airplane if it's got a plastic gear? Thing is, it does not have a plastic gear. Come on, focus in. I hate this camera. I need to get a new camera. This sucks. Yeah, anyway, there's no metal. There's no plastic gears in the Metal Gears. So, mm -hmm. yep. Again, you know, I can't always listen to other people. So I will be back in just a minute. I'm waiting for my soldering gun to heat up. So, or soldering iron to heat up. Okay, we've got soldering, soldering iron all nice and warm. You can see that there's a little bit of a buildup on there. Um, that's why I use the sponge and a little bowl. Is once it's all hot, you can get, come in here with this little green side and rub it down, get it clean, takes the residue off of it, just makes for a cleaner solder, right? And once you got that clean, put your, get this out of the way. Once you've got that clean, go ahead and you know let it heat back up again because it's going to take it a minute to warm back up. See, it's not even, there it goes. And we're going to just get a tin, oops. Oops. Why is it gonna kill me for that? Oh well. It's gotta be warmer. So we're gonna put this back over here again on top of this. Let it get warmer. Clean it some more. Yeah, just get some more of that solder off of there. So we got the solder off. Really like to tin this thing up, but I've got it looks like, sounds like it looks like I'm gonna have to. There we got a little bit of a drop on there with that heat on there and see what happens. There we go. Come on. Tin up. It's not going to turn. I don't know. It's, I think it's the soldering gun. It doesn't work quite right. So, whatever. We're good. I'm good with that. You know, we got, I got enough solder on the tip of this thing to be comfortable with it. So we're going to do one wire at a time on this board. And basically all you're going to do is, you know, you're going to grab the wire. Where are my pliers? I have these pliers. You're going to grab the wire pair of pliers. You're going to touch the gun down to your solder point here. And boom, it's off. Shoot. Nope. That one. Uh, this is where that the little solder helper tool comes in really handy. So that you don't as you're soldering stuff it doesn't fall back into place or whatever as you're pulling it apart. You know? So like 
that. That just sucks. Alright. So now we have all three of the wires. <coughs> They've already been tinned. Uh, we have a wireless servo now. Alright. Cool. Everybody go set with that? I hope so. Because if not, oh well. Ha! <laughs> so now we're going to do the same thing to this servo. Open it up. These wires are pulled backwards, which kind of is cool. And... Answer my phone. Hold on, text. Oh, I got something coming from my girlfriend. Oh, it's a Christmas joke. All right, girlfriend, wife. We still, we're still getting past that point. We don't know whether or not what's going to happen there. We got at least there's issues. So anyway, just touch it. And we have one wire off. Orange wire gone. Brown wire gone. Red wire out of there. So now that we've done that, what was it? It was brown, orange, and red, right? got that going on. So now we're going to go ahead and put it all back. Now this is tricky because these wires are really small, really thin. I'm going to pull a little bit more slack off of them so I've got something to hold on to. And same thing as when we were turning and turning it apart. Just heat it up a little bit. Boom. There. Pull a little bit more slack off of there red wire. Red wire. And yellow wire. Give them a quick little snug, a little pull on them, make sure they're not going to pull out. Tuck the servo board back into the servo. Wipe this down really quick. <clears throat> so we got the servo board tucked back into the servo. We got the wires hooked back up. Um, and now we have Metal Gear Servo with the long lead. Uh, some of you guys may not feel comfortable with doing that. To be honest with you, I didn't really feel comfortable with doing it, but I needed to get it done because I'm tired of my servos again. Just fed up with them. So we're gonna feed this in here just like so. Um, as you can see, there's a notch. And, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a notch in this servo box, servo cover, that we're going we're gonna to be using. So, we can't put it on wrong. It's impossible to put it on wrong. So anyway, boom, boom, down we go. run all the screws back in. I like to tighten things up. I'm a mechanic by trade. Um, I like to tighten things up kitty corner or diagonal. So if I start off on this one, my next one is going to be up the top right. Lower left, top right, top left, lower right. That's the way I'm going to do it. Um, some of you guys may you know, not think that that's necessary, but I, I just do it that way because I'm just used to doing it that way. It's, Way I was always taught to do things. You know, you don't tighten one side because you may ultimately break something. You know, who knows? I don't know. You may not break anything either. 
it's just one of those things where works for you. So we got that, right? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Alright, this one's gonna be ouch. Nice and tight. Ever. Lower left, upper right. Upper left, lower right. Right? More or less, just make sure that this thing sits on here square. Pulls everything together a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's just what it does. I think it works better to go that route, this route. Nice and snug. And boom, we have extended Metal Gear Servo. Look at that, guys. Now I can put it back into my plane. Uh, when I put it back in the plane, I am gonna use a little bit of hot glue uh, to kind of make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna run hot glue. You'll see what I do when I do it, but I am gonna run hot glue in it too. Uh, make sure everything kind of winds up. Okay. All right, now that we have our long lead on the Metal Gear Servo, before we run it through the wing and put it all together and glue things in, um, you also have to have the horn on it. I'd recommend, I mean, you're just, it's just before you do anything, uh, turn on the radio, plug your servo in, well, I put the uh, I put my wide lead back into the airplane while I was while we were on break. Uh, just plug everything in. Make sure the servo centers. You know that's one of the reasons why I removed the prop because I knew that we would be. I knew we would be uh, uh, turning the battery on and off and stuff like that. So. Anyway, servo works great, and it's centered. So we know it's the servo center. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the servo first from the aircraft. The gear won't move that way at all. Go ahead and unplug the aircraft. Better outside, turn off your radio, and we're ready to move on. This is where it gets tricky. <clears throat> you got this, you got this lead, and I mean, there's a cover here. Yeah, you can try to cut it up, but I think they glued the base of it. So you're never gonna get it out. So you gotta sit here and you gotta play with this thing and try to get this thing to feed all the way back through. That's another reason why I'm not going to try to use the Y lead to uh, make it work or anything like that. But anyway, as you can see, it wasn't that hard. It came through. Um, so, so you got your servo in. I'm going to go ahead and use this servo horn. Um, I don't, there's not a problem with doing that. Uh, I don't see a problem with doing it anyway. So go ahead and get rid of that screw. This servo is pretty well. I mean, it's not junk. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put the cover back on it. And, uh, you know, I'll deal with that later. So, put the servo horn. You want this thing to try to be centered as much as possible. So, you get your servo horn in. Oh, we're going to have to do some trimming. Some trimming here. The foam. Servo horn doesn't want to fit in there. Pull the wire 
through, set this in. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a little bit of trimming here. So if you if you see here, you, know, you can't really see here because it's all white. My servo horn is right up against the wing. Um, it's not good. So I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm going to cut some of this back and see if I can't get that to, to smooth out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on hold and I'll get back with you as soon as I'm done cutting this out. Okay, well I cut that out. Um, I've got plenty of room now. Fur in there. Let's see if I can't zoom in and catch it this way or something. Yeah, no, you can't see because of the white on white, but it's I got plenty of room now. And I'm looking at this, and this servo horn actually lines up better with the um, aileron horn, with the control surface horn. So I'm kind of I'm stoked about that. That's 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 way better the way that lines up. It didn't line up as well with the uh, um, other servo. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna grab the hot glue gun. I'm gonna plug that in. We're gonna put some glue here and here. Go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna put some glue here and here on each side of the servo on the on the plug it into the brown extension cord. It's got three plugs on the brown extension cord. So anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna push this servo down and we're gonna put hot glue in the corners. Right there and right there, and we'll let that hot glue set up. And uh, after, of course, we put the screw in the servo one. So let's go ahead and let me find my bag of tricks. Somewhere over here in my flight bag. I've got Dean's connectors, let's see here. I've got, aha, there's my servo stuff. So, we got, Couple bags of servo things. Um, what I want, what I'm looking for, is actually these screws here. I'm using these the screws that came with my Metal Gear servos to remount that plate that you guys saw me take off earlier. Uh, I just like the screws better. The heads are better on them. They're easier to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So. Do here. Is pick this up, set this in here, Mimi. What is wrong with you, baby girl? Yes. Nothing. Never mind, dude. You, you you're too busy running around doing other things, so I'll just I'll just leave you alone. Yeah. I just mom you were nowhere near your mom. You were all the way back in the bedroom. He was. He was giving his brother one. Mm -hmm. I was I was all the way in the bedroom. So okay, we got the screw in the servo. We're gonna go ahead and put this back down in here. Uh, pull the hot glue gun. Hopefully it's hot. Looks like it's pretty hot, but there's glue oozing. Um, I need to find something that oozes glue off onto. Somebody pulled the trigger. And we're plugging it in. So now that we've got that established, we're going to go ahead and just squeeze a pretty good amount of glue down in here. There. Put the cover on it. And we'll grab our new screws, the ones that came with the servo. I'm missing a screwdriver. No, I'm missing a screwdriver.
that's not making any sense. How am I missing a screwdriver? Oh, here it is. Never mind. I'm not missing a screwdriver. So anyway, with the new head, head screwdriver screws, you know, with the, new, with the screws that came with the servos, we're going to go ahead and put this back together. Uh, the reason why I put the hot glue in like I did is so that the servo won't slide forward. You know, I don't know that it could with this cover on, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, I guess. be able to use these screws. I just think I just screwed, stripped this one out good. take our push rods, figure out which way we're going to run them. If we run it this way, see, if we run the hook this way on the servo horn to go straight, it's going to miss the horn. So I think we're going to run it this way. And that pretty much makes us 90 degrees, right? Okay. So we're 90 degrees here. Go ahead and put that on. You are going to have to readjust your servo horns or your 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 throws uh, when you're done with this. So I mean, it really doesn't matter where the settings are at right now because you are going to have to readjust them. It's just guaranteed. Pretty well. I mean, don't even not even a second thought about it. It's going to have to happen. So we'll just set that on there temporarily and. Boom. Everything is 90 degrees. It actually has it's a better fit. And I, I mean, it just it looks better. It, it, I think it'll actually run a little bit better too. We'll find out right now about that. We'll just go ahead and stack this, set this wing up here somehow. How are we gonna set this wing up? There we go, we'll set that wing on there just like that. So now we can plug in Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to get my buddy to help me here. Hey, David. Yeah? Would you hold this camera for me? Sure. Kind of just keep it focused on what I'm doing. So anyway, uh, again, we're going to plug in your leads for the wing. Uh, make sure your color is right. You know, 
matchup. Flip on the radio and plug in here. So now we have. Oh crap! Alright, sorry about that. I dropped my dropped my uh, radio battery pack onto the ground. Picked up the radio. I forgot that I didn't have the base in it on it. So boom. Plug that in. Put this in. Wires are out of the way now. That's on there. Radio's on. Plug up the plane. Or plug in the plane, I like to call it. Just, you know, I've been using that plug up word a lot. got a reverser. I can reverse this on my radio here. On my radio I can reverse. So if this stuff's not right when I go to put it together, um, I will be able to fix that. But as you can tell, these Metal Gear servos are a little bit more responsive to what you're doing. So. I, uh, I, I just, I, I like them better. Um, that's why I'm doing this. I wouldn't be doing this if I thought that, you know, I wasn't going to get any type of performance out of it. I'm not a guy that do work on stuff without getting any type of gain. Um, I'm not too sure here. This doesn't look right, but it's not pushing down and it's not coming up, so should hold that servo good. Um, I did hot glue it again, or again, I did hot glue it, so that's not gonna be a problem. So we have one one side of the wing vent, right? Mm -hmm. The other one is exactly the same, uh, same procedures. I'm gonna do everything exactly the same, put it all back together. Uh, put it all back together and, uh, but you guys can see twice there motor when I turned off the radio the first time when I dropped the battery pack the motor kicked up and the second time I turned off the, the, the radio and the motor turned on again. If I had the prop there I would have destroyed my wing on um, it can cut the hell out of you it just to do damage to the, to the human body so it's just better not to uh, have the prop when you're working on especially electronics in the plane. So that was how to put a Metal Gear Servo into your Airfield Skytrainer ailerons.